on um, video. Hi <laughs> <laughs> right, boys, so we just made it back to the garage. As you can see, we are six. We are six. Yeah, it was a nice ass day, so we came back, swing by by the car wash real quick. Well, we're heading over to David's crib, and we're gonna start taking apart the G, mostly the interior. I don't know if you guys know, but if you've been keeping up with our socials, this man got a fucking G35. And yeah, we're about to go do the interior swap because he wants to do the it's beige to black. Yeah, I'll show you guys in a bit once we get over there. But yeah, right now we're at the car wash doing this. George's Demon Jet is also pretty sick. Demon Jet, sick as hell. As y'all can see, Boost Dynamics. Not tuned right now. Not tuned right now, but. What's it called? Gotta take it off. Gotta do some maintenance before he goes back on the tune. It's a bit windy, so I don't know if you guys can even hear. We got L Dub sticker. I don't even know if you can see it. Shout out L Dubs. The David crib. The wheels with the tires. Mark 5 David crib. Got a broken VQ that we're about to yeah. do some work on while it, we wait for the new engine. Yeah, we just got. We ordered the new engine. It's on its way. It's on its way. But we've been waiting on it. Ooh, ooh. You heard David here. He said he's sliding it in the next couple, oh. couple of months. Fresh engine. He's just going to be more careful this time. <laughs> I'm just gonna do like minimal slides. You got a Tomei dog? I got Tomei bro. It's actually a Tomei. A Tomei? I, I, I think it should be Tomei. Or I have some It's a Tomei spec, shit. spec some shit. I think spec it's spec D. D. Yeah, spec D. Spec D. Hey, spec D. Fucking decent though. Spec D. Hop on ish. Now you just, now you just need the headlights. I feel like this is a, the best part of the G. It's even a rare ass color bro. Holy shit. Kind of dirty. Can't see your pure beauty right now. Yeah, you can't see a pure. Oh, beauty. when we watch this bitch, bro. That shit was nice. Super fucking nice. All right, so after a couple <laughs> minutes of uh, pushing this hoe, finally got it into the middle of the fucking backyard. Dog about annoying as fuck. We got some of the black interior in there, so we're gonna start taking most up of the black. most of it. Uh, I just have to take up, take apart the steering rack, yeah, and then take the the gauge cluster off, cause that that, that whole piece comes off. And then it, it's just a bunch of screws, right? After yeah, it's that? a bunch of. It, uh, well, I have to drop the steering wheel. I'll drop it, yeah. So it's literally only two fucking screws. So take that, take those. Should two be off, and then boom. Yeah, the entire dash should come off. Come off, fuck it. I, I Easy to, as hell. I have to transfer all the fucking vents and shit too. Sure, so yeah, bitch. got hell of shit to do today. Yeah. And huh? it's good because we have the what's up the lights in case of anything. All right, so we just got ourselves some Arizonas, bro. You already know the best yeah. kind. What you want with the strawberry and kiwi? Give. All right. All right, so we got David out here already dismantling the yeah, first part of the G. So yeah, we're swapping that dash out with that and black one because <clears throat> David doesn't like this base shit neither do i uh -uh. i think the black looks way better and the interior has seen better days Definitely. some idiot got hungry and just chewed this off oh god as you can see g35 things the leather seats are all torn up mk5 bright Whoa! Oh! Nail pastel. Alright, so we're now taking out the centerpiece console. Oh, we gotta take this out. Could go ahead and use a flat hand. Just how you're seeing David. The fuck? Is that even connected on there? He's also watching a video, you know, because we're not experts at this, you know? Yeah. Gotta watch a video every, 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 once, every in once in a while. Alright, so David already managed to take the center console out. How easy was this, bro? Pretty, take it out. pretty fucking easy. Not gonna lie. Was there like screws or just you pull it? Like I literally clips? just pulled it. I pulled it and there was like, oh, there's two screws over here. 
and then I okay, put, there's a uh, two screws back here and then you literally just pull the entire thing up you just put your e-brake up yeah you also want to tell us how to properly take this out uh what did you do that you fucked up don't pull it from the top pull it from okay. the bottom yeah because then it's gonna end up like this don't worry though we'll get we'll hopefully find another one yet to take off the rest of that piece and then what else Oh, this is the outside. And then the side stuff right here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> that stuff. And then this stuff. And then this piece comes off, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah, that piece comes we off. We got his butt plug? Yeah, it's my butt plug. <laughs> my oh, bad. my God. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the car's pretty fucking clean. Didn't really show you guys much of the car, but... It's got some aftermarkets. Aftermarket headlights. Pretty sure this is a rare... VQ factory paint color. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's rare. Dave is now taking out the I'm trying the to cluster, make... trying to take out the cluster. I'm over here taking out this glove box. Hopefully after this bolt and taking off this plastic piece, it comes out. Should be all right. But yeah, that's the that's how we got. Let's don't let's... watch those YouTube videos, my boy. YouTube University. Oh yeah, YouTube's helping us out fixing up this jean because we're mostly not into jdm no mostly volkswagen First time we're ever taking apart a g35 g35 yeah. and it's a nice coupe manual yeah just gotta disconnect these connections i think i think we should be all right there we go that one need the other one there we go you want to get flathead there's these two clips right here you don't have to disconnect it just kind of lightly do it this is the old one you know it doesn't really matter since we scratched it up got the black one somewhere on the other side i think looks like the boys are coming as well more boys are coming all right so basically Got all the connectors off. Kind of broke this, but it's okay because we have an extra one. Just gotta be really careful with this last one. And then I think we just take this bolt right here, and it should be able to pop out after that bolt. Hold on, let me take this out real quick. Oh, now it's up. There we go. What else is in there? Oh, another one right here. There's another one also right there. Fuck, where the hell is my. All right, so got two screws on up there and then one down there. This should come off and then just disconnect this. But once again, be careful with these. They could break. Right now, Dave is trying to take out the radio. Since we already got all the screws out, it should be easy. Just a little bit of fidgeting it around. Just play around with it, move it around, and it should come out free. So I'll get back to you guys once we've further prog progressed, progressed into this progressed. Uh, dash removal that we're doing. And we're also going to wait for the other guys to come. Yeah, we got the boys coming. Right, so your boy David, barely taking out, well not barely, but he's kind of struggling right now to take this dash off. The sun went down, so he turned on those lights. And I think the <clears throat> rest of the guys came. Yes, right man. now, like two of them. Holy shit, that was George's car. George's car sounds fucking nice as hell. I know, that oh, cold start was raw as hell. But well, we basically got all this from the middle side out. This is also unscrewed, so ready to come out so we got all this shit out i just took the fucking uh, glove compartment the top piece out now let's go check on these fuels what do you have to say you not see me bro the yellow man he just wanted to hit him Holy 
shit. What's the retail on one of those? Shit, more than you could afford, pal. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's clean. Sounds nice. All right, guys, we're back. It's the second day. Uh, last night we didn't really record much, but you know, we pretty much basically got most of it out. He got the cluster out. And by the time he had got the cluster out, uh, some of our friends showed up and you know, we decided to go out and cruise for a bit. So we had ended, we had basically stopped recording. So this is basically the continuing part of yes, the, close, the whole dash swap. But honestly, it wasn't even that bad. Usually it's taking, uh, taking all the stuff out first. That's the hardest part. But now since we know how everything goes, it should be pretty easy. A lot smoother. A lot, yeah, a lot smoother. But yeah, we just kind of threw everything in here last night. We know where everything But we know exactly where everything goes. And this isn't a how-to guide. I mean, it's pretty easy. There's a lot of uh, 10 millimeters, 12s, and some 13s. All the center consoles out. Oh, shit. This part's out. The bottom piece is out. You know, you couldn't really see because it was dark last night. That's out. He took these out from uh, the cluster right there. So yeah, that's basically the plan right now is to finish taking out that dash. I just made and sure get I, the, I kept all the screws right there. Yeah. And then, you'll figure out what screws go where. It'll just like, come to you. I mean, yeah, like you, you'll remember exactly where you took them out of. All right, so David got the whole dash laid out. This is basically Yo. how it's going to go all back in together. So he went from that shitty beige fucking trim that nobody really likes to this nicer black one. Yeah. He's still missing a few pieces, but he's got most of it. Most yeah. of the big ones. Yeah, most of the big ones in the front. Just need mm -hmm. the other glove box. This vent. Yeah. And then, uh... All these uh, two events. I might just, nah, I'll probably just paint those. Yeah, it's not really a big deal. But yeah, that's basically the plan. Is to put all that <coughs> back into there. But yeah, we're gonna get going on this. Get Taking out the like, the actual whole big dash out the way. These uh, bogus ass uh, ricer carpets. The ricer. If anybody carpet. wants them, uh, go ahead and. Uh, Hit us up. Yeah, if anybody wants any of the great dash pieces, hit us up. Hit us up for sale. Let's go. So now we got the black one versus the nasty old beige color one. It's all nasty and shit too. Alright, let's get to the look. black is gonna get a lot less nasty. Let's get look, let's get back to let's get let's get back to it. Alright guys, so it's a brand new day and we ended up finishing the yeah. the dash swap. The last clip you saw us, you know, putting it back in together. I didn't really want to record much of that because it was taking up time. So I just ended up doing it off camera with this yeah. guy. We ended up finishing the entire thing. Yeah. Whatever pieces we had, now we just got to finish, get everything else. But it came out pretty decent. I mean, yeah, it low key. All black now. It low-key kind of goes with it too, like, I don't know. Kind of like a mismatched look right now. Yeah, you gotta go with the flow. Soon enough, we'll find the seats, carpet, yeah. all the door panels, everything. Full set. Didn't even see this. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, yeah, hopefully you, uh, you guys will be seeing more fucking install videos yeah. in the future this is just the beginning of we just gotta of the get start everything 
situated, get it all started, get it running. Yes, again, sir. And then start putting more stuff into it, and then I don't know. We'll we'll go from we'll there. See, honestly. We'll see what happens with it. Honestly. Yeah. But yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video. You want to say goodbye? Bye.